you need direction, then face the Qibla. If you need advice, then read the Quran. Islam is a system established by Allah, God, verified by the book of Allah, Quran, manifested by life of Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. I don't need enemies. My nafs is enough. Maintain a positive image and attitude. Salah is not part-time nor sometime. It should be on time because death could come at any time. If a Muslim posts on social media sites about Islam, don't assume they are claiming to be perfect or righteous. They are just reminding themselves and the rest of us because indeed reminders benefit the believers. May Allah make us of those who constantly turn to Him in hardship and ease. One why puts a thousand truths into doubt. Miss Fager, your day is wasted, Miss Aisha. Your night is wasted. Miss your five prayers. Your life is wasted. An old man in the mosque told me the people who worshipped Ramadan are gone, and those who worship Allah are still here praying today. Let's not be people of Ramadan only. If you feel Allah has abandoned you, think again. He is there teaching you dependence and patience. Those who joyfully leave everything in Allah's hand will eventually see Allah's hand in everything. Insha'Allah. Turn to Allah before you return to Him. Life is hard and the world is full of troubles. But the sun still shines, and Allah's blessings are everywhere in our lives. Don't give up for lack of presence. Keep moving your tongue in diker until your heart looks up to see what all the commotion is. Don't let your sins silence your heart from calling out to its Lord. Learn to be quiet, just as you learn to talk, because if talking guides you, being quiet protects you. By being quiet, you attain two characteristics. You are able to take knowledge from those more knowledgeable than you, and you are able to repel the ignorance of those more ignorant than you. Whether your mother is kissing you, advising you or rebuking you. She loves you. Respect her. Love her. Serve her. For verily, if she prays for you, it is accepted. May Allah bless the biggest and most irreplaceable treasures in the world, our mothers. Amin. Be in life like a traveler and leave behind you a good trail, for we are not in this world except guests and a guest only leaves. I will not gift you the sun or the moon because they disappear, and I will not gift you a candle nor ice because they melt, and I will not gift you flowers and roses because they wilt. Rather, I will gift you with my prayer, Dua.
You'd be a fool if you got up for Phaedra and went back to bed without reading it. Decisions become easier when your will to please Allah outweighs your will to please the world. When you worry, pray about it. When you have prayed, don't worry about it. It's in Allah's hands now. Let's not ask Barbara Walters about how Muslim women feel. Let's not ask Tom Brokaw how Muslim women feel. Let's not ask Scun, AC, Fox, The London Times, or The Australia Times. Let's not ask non Muslims how Muslim women feel, how they live, what are their principles, and what are their challenges. If you want to be fair, ask a Muslim woman, ask my wife, ask my mother, Ask a Muslim woman who knows her religion, who has a religion, who has a relationship with her creator, who is stable in her society, understands her responsibilities. Ask her. You can go to the gym, lift as many weights as you want, but if you can't bench press your duvet at Phaedra, then it doesn't mean anything. Laziness in performing the prayer is a sign that the heart does not long after Allah. A handsome guy and a pretty girl will make a beautiful wedding, but a pious man and a faithful woman will make a beautiful marriage. May Allah, Sa'ud, Make us of those who constantly turn to him in hardship and ease. A real man will offer you marriage. A loser will offer you Zina. When death comes, it doesn't send a postcard. Faij is for soldiers. If we cannot beat our sheet in our beds for the Phaedra prayer, you will never beat any enemies. A sign of a Muslim is one who breaks his sleep for Phaedra prayer. One day, you will be wrapped around, fully covered, head to toe, and lowered into your grave. Don't let your last day on earth be the first day you wear, Hijab. Those who joyfully leave everything in Allah's hand will eventually see Allah's hand in everything, inshallah Allah. You'd be a fool if you got up for Phaedra and went back to bed without reading it. Learn to be quiet, just as you learn to talk. Because if talking guides you, being quiet protects you. By being quiet, you attain two characteristics. You are able to take knowledge from those more knowledgeable than you and you are able to repel the ignorance of those more ignorant than you. Decisions become easier when your will to please Allah outweighs your will to please the world. I work holidays. I work Saturdays. I work Sundays. I work double shift, I work any time. But Juma, that's Allah's time. Thanks for watching.